Hey, welcome to my channel, Ken here. Today I'm going to install my Mac Pro and all that goes with it. Here we go. Then you unpack it and let's see what we got here. Well, there's a lot of little compartments here. Looks like a mouse or cables. Hmm. Look in this one later. Just padding. So, there's a cloth sleeve here. Oh, it's nicely packed, nice presentation. But it's still a puzzle. <laughs> So there's an arrow, there's an, I guess, it's really peeling up. Alright, do you have some cheese? And grate some. Yeah, we have that cheddar cheese. Well, at least the unpacking feels good. So there are many reasons why I would spend the extra money on getting a rack case. Um, for one, the other one, the regular floor stander, um, it has these four legs and I'm going to put this in a closet that I'll show later and it's not uh, going to be stable and it won't fit by the way either. Plus you have to unplug everything to get into the case here. You can just this is how you do it. That's it. So when it's in the closet, it's easy to get in access to the computer. Alright, well, there you have it. Don't know if all this it specs out, but it's a 16 core. I got it with minimum RAM, I'll expand that later. No hard drives and a minimal video card because this is for audio. So Huh. Well me. Okay, I'm gonna put this hard drive from Sonnet. It's called Sonnet M.2 4x4 silent SSD card, PCI card. And here it is. Before I touch anything, I'm just going to get up and de-static de -static myself. Mm. 
So, first thing that has to happen is get the heat sink off. Heat sink off. So in these slots right here, hard drive's gotta go. Here's a two terabyte. One terabyte, sorry. Another one terabyte. Push back in. So my Amazon was really nice to replace this one right away. Two days it came. Because on the last one I had problems with the screws to put the heat sink back in. They were too short. So I contact the son and they gave me some extra screws. Very helpful. So let's see. It's good. This back. I think these screws work, but it will work. Oh, no problem this time. Last time they wouldn't catch. This time, no problem. And there was also a screw missing, something that's very funky about the last PCI board. Oops. That one didn't catch. Oh, I see. Have to be pushed down. Yep. Don't over tighten these. And there it is. Done. That was easy. So the beauty of this computer is. The rack mount thing is I can put it upright so it'll fit in here and I can get the cover out without taking the computer out. Unlike the floor stander there, you have to pull it off like a sock. Anyway, so, all right, so I put this where it belongs in my closet. You can see there's an air conditioner up there. So all my computers are in here. The two slaves, which are PC machine, Windows machines. Um, and I have the old Mac Pro over here that I'm using for business stuff now. It's been, it used to be my main computer. So I'm still a little bit in a transition here. And uh, I didn't film this, but I installed this uh, rack here for two hard drives. And you can see they're very slow uh, disk drives, um, RPMs. And I'm basically using this for like, dumping files over and backing up and, and that kind of utility stuff. I also didn't film on the back. You install RAM, so I put another 64 gigs of 
RAM in it, which was super easy, by the way. Talk about making it easy for the customer. And here I have the UAD card that used to be sitting in a magma box uh, running on Thunderbolt. Now I can install this, so let's put this in first. It's easy to slide this out. And it's unlocked right now down here. There's a little lever here that locks it and unlocks it. So I'm going to put this in, which is, it's in now, and very easy. Let me get the, I made a hard drive array, as I showed earlier, I'm going to install that. And here it is. And it needs to go into this slot right here. And this is a little trickier. Because it's so long. There, that's in. I'm going to lock it here. And then this little bar that has to go on here, which is also easy. So for now, this is my configuration so for recording and and the few samples that are necessary to have stored on this computer like the synthesizers and the omnispheres and stuff like that they're sitting on this super fast drive array right here and um, the actual orchestral samples and and the big stuff is sitting on the slaves so I'll just seal it up and you can see why I needed a rack mount case but it's it's cool not to have that sock to pull off where you had to unplug all the wires and it wouldn't fit here anyway but I added bonuses that you can just pop off the lid and get access to the inside of the computer like this in the story I put this strap on it because it's uh, because we're in LA and there are earthquakes so you don't want it falling off the shelf so there that's it voila oopsies I put the slot in the wrong lane apparently so I'm gonna move it up here to this lane yeah lock it this in Oops, there it is. Alright, seal this baby up. A little tricky. There. Turn it on. And that's it. Quick rundown of the setup here. So the two Thunderbolt ports I have adapters here. One is running to an external hard drive and the other one is basically running out of the closet. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's my audio interface. It also had to be a converter from Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2. And this cable right here is an actual USB-C cable that runs out. And I also have a couple monitors on it here. Um, so we'll come over here. Here's my Thunderbolt 2 interface because I can't run all these USB things that I need to run in my studio directly into the USB ports that are on the computer. It's giving me headaches. So I figured I'll just run USB 2 through this hub right here that's connected with Thunderbolt, which was one of the adapters over there. This one is the USB-C hub. Oh, the, this one, I'm sorry. This one is the USB-C uh, hub that I'm running um, into the computer so I can just put in you know video cards and, and other things. And also the third monitor is running through this guy as well. 
um, and then the audio interface is over here. Um, these distances can be run on uh, Thunderbolt 3, unfortunately. I could not get it to work, it's too far. So I had to convert everything to Thunderbolt 2. Um, so that's that. All right, I have the computer up and running, as you can see behind me. I uh, didn't film some of the stuff that I had to do, which was update a lot of the software. And it seems to me that they have uh, some companies out there that are basically abandonware because I can't update it. Uh, I still have a couple of plug-in companies that are giving me some problems. But uh, so far, it's really working nicely. Um, much better performance, apparently, than the other. Uh, Mac Pro. So if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and make a comment below. And I'm making another episode of this to um, showcase the, some of the software issues and, and some of the uh, software benefits that I've had so far. Till next time, take care.